Hi, team. Let's take a quick look at any feature coming. Uh, in the last build, we added the histogram equalized filter that tries to uh, stretch out the histogram to give more contrast to an image. Um, and that's great for global contrast, but sometimes you want local contrast where you just want to uh, uh, increase contrast between all the different parts of the image, uh, sort of like expanding dynamic in uh, local areas. Uh, but this is a little bit more advanced than that. So let's just take a look at the Clahi filter. Um, sorry about the uninteresting acronym. It is uncool, but it stands for Contrast Limited Adaptive Histogram Equalization. Uh, the contrast limited part uh, means that uh, when we work in the local areas, say we have a given area where there's just uh, too much contrast, and it's uh, increasing the noise in a particular area. We can limit that area. Okay, here's a good example. Right here in this corner, we're seeing a lot of noise up there. And over here in this block here, we're seeing a lot of noise. It's exaggerating the, the noise in those areas. Um, you can see we're turning blocky and all that sort of stuff. Uh, real, real useful to be, able, to be able to turn these blocks on and off so you can see these areas really clearly. Um, we can also change the, uh, the size of the blocks and that sort of thing. But that's uh, something to talk about later. For now, here's another area where we're getting a lot of noise. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at this contrast clamp. Uh, we can move it down until we start to see those areas of noise decrease. We don't want to take it all the way down or we won't have any contrast at all. All right, so, but just take it down just enough so that these areas of noise are decreased. And then we can adjust the level. Uh, put the blocks, turn the blocks off again. And we can adjust the level. As you can see, it's, con increasing, cre uh, it's increasing the contrast all over the image, but not globally. It's doing it in specific uh, areas. These, these like, sub-blocks of the, uh, each, basically each block is getting its own histogram its own unique histogram, and then we interpolate between those. So that's how that one works. It's, uh, it's sort of like uh, create increasing dynamic range or dynamic range compression where you squeeze more dy dynamic range into the entire image. Um, and that is basically that. So uh, performance is really good so far. Um, coming along nicely. There's still a few more features to add, but it's coming along really nice and uh, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.